What's up SEO pros, welcome back. Chase Reiner here and today I wanna to talk about something called Google Video SERP hijacking. Now, what I figured out over the last few days is something insane and the reason why I was actually trying to figure this out is because I've been teaching this method uh, for like the last year, which is showing people how to rank on Google so that they can get clients who are in the same industry. So the idea here is that you're going to go out and try to rank for a keyword like let's say you wanted to rank for, I don't know, iPhone repair in Santa Barbara, and you would go find other people's businesses that want to rank for the same keyword, you'd reach out to them, get them as a client. Now, before I get into all of this, if you don't know who I am, my name is Chase, I've been doing SEO services for the last few years, and I've been making hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, selling services, selling software, and now I sell courses. And if you're interested in getting information on any of that, you can go to the link in the description of this video. But let's get into exactly what this method looks like. So yesterday, or no, two days ago, I, was it two days? No, it was yesterday. I started experimenting and seeing if I could start ranking videos on, you, on Google because I knew that even though we're able to rank Google business profiles very quickly, they usually take about a week, right? So you have to get a um, verification letter sent to your home, you have to verify your address, and then generally if you use the methods that we talk about, you can rank on Google locally within that week. <clears throat> if you do it with a website, you can usually rank that website within under a month, but these videos, the vi ones I've been testing with this technique, it, I've been able to rank in like five minutes. So I did a test um, <clears throat> last night and I was able to rank for a web design keyword in literally like five minutes. Um, I also did a test uh, just even with my last video, uh, the one that I did yesterday um, on my YouTube channel and we are ranking on the first page for a keyword with over like 300 searches a month. Now, <sighs> People might say like, I know some people are like, well, the, the videos don't really matter. They're not gonna bring any leads. It might be true that you might not bring in any, any leads with those keywords. Um, if you, let's say you rank for a video, let's say iPhone repair Santa Barbara, and it's like, you know, middle of the page, page one. You might not get any leads from that, but <clears throat> this is really to just demonstrate that you have some relevancy when you reach out to a business owner. Let's say, again, you wanted to go for ranking for like, let's say holistic doctors in Los Angeles. And let's say you could rank for that in five minutes. Imagine being on the phone with somebody and literally ranking in five minutes, showing them uh, that you're showing up on Google within that phone call, um, or even preparing before the phone call and saying, hey, we're ranking, and, and this is the method, is that you're saying, <clears throat> hey, and then whoever they are, uh, we are ranking on the first page of Google for your keywords, and we'd like to send you the leads from the, them from those keywords or even just give you the ranking. How does that sound? And then once you start talking to them about the ranking, they're gonna be interested in how you achieve that ranking because there's a lot of businesses that wanna show up and they're not even on page one of Google. So if you can achieve something that they want in five minutes, that's something that you can sell very easily. <clears throat> so how does it work? Basically what we're doing is there's three different parts. And the cool thing is uh, you can do it all manually or you can automate it. And basically the manual way of doing it, um, I can't get into too much detail because I don't want people to just run off with the method and like, it's a really powerful method, right? And I think that if it got in the wrong hands, you know, a lot of businesses could actually get hurt by it, especially if people are doing negative SEO and, you know, just ranking for things that people don't necessarily like, you know, bat, like negative reviews or, or, or hurting their competitors, that kind of thing. So um, a brief overview of how it works is basically you're finding keywords that you want to rank for and we have some methods to find keywords that work really well. You find a certain type of keyword and then what you do is you create content for those keywords. And so um, again, there's a way to automate that. You would, you would basically, uh, I, I use robots for it, but you can, you can do it the manually way and you can do it yourself. And then what you would do is you'd use certain tools to build the videos for you. And once you do all that, what's gonna happen is not only are you going to be able to rank very, very quickly within like five minutes, what you would do is you would, um, you would also usually wanna embed those videos as well on your website. So the reason why is because if you can start embedding these videos on your site, um, I found that when you embed videos on websites, they also not only help the YouTube ranking, so you'll rank higher on YouTube, 
um, but it also help you rank higher on Google. And so you could ideally have two spots or three spots on the first page, especially uh, if you had a Google business profile, right? Because you'd have the spot in the Google business profile, you'd have the video, and then you'd have the website. And the one thing that I did want to test is, is to see if there, if you could have you know, three or four videos ranking there. I know that when there's a bunch of people making the same videos, like in the case that I just did this, I'll show you with mine. Um, you can see this is the one I just did yesterday, best keyword difficulty tool. It's already showing up number one here. And there's a reason why this happens. Um, basically, we have a way of finding keywords that nobody else is searching for, uh, or not nobody else, that nobody else is targeting. And so you can see we're the only one with this keyword here, best keyword difficulty tool. And this actually has, I think, over a 300 monthly search rate. But we actually do this with local keywords and we're able to rank really quickly with local keywords. Now, here's the thing. If you want this method, let me know. I haven't released it yet. I was thinking of releasing a uh, course on it. So that way you guys can go and start um, ranking these videos. Uh, basically what would be in the course is, like I said, the manual way of doing it, which is free or the paid version of way of doing it, which is automated. Um, and you would use, I think it's like three main tools to do it. Now let's talk about what would happen if you started ranking for all these different keywords. How would you be able to scale this? Now what I would recommend is you would basically come up with a sheet, like a list of all the different local keywords you wanted to target. And I always say it's better to niche down. So what I mean by that is what I would do is I would find all of the keywords that you want to rank for around, let's say like chiropractors, uh, let's say you're in the US, most people who watch me are the, in the US, but this will work anywhere. So what you would do is you'd find all of the different chiropractors uh, or keywords around chiropractic work in, in different locations and you'd find the keywords that, um, that would be vulnerable for this method and you would target those and you start ranking for all these different um, keywords all over, right? And I'm, I'm not kidding, you could probably power these out in like a day and probably get 20 or 30 rankings. So then what you would do is you'd reach out to these businesses, all these different chiropractors and say, hey, we're ranking on page one, we'd like to help you out, do the same, would you be interested? And then you'd get on the phone with them. And what I always like to do is I like to use SEO or rankings kind of as a gateway drug. And what I mean by that is that if you're if you're reaching out to these businesses, the whole goal is to be able to sell ongoing services to them. It's not to um, sell them you know, your rankings. Uh, the rankings are cool, but really you want to be able to help them long-term with their website. And what does that look like? So what you would do is you would, you would try to get your foot in the door, you try to say, hey, I wanna help you out, and then you would offer them some sort of audit of their website. So you'd say, before you know, we do any rankings or anything, let's, we wanna make sure that everything is solid on your side. We wanna make sure your website works well, we wanna make sure the page speed loads fast, we wanna make sure that all of the buttons work, blah, blah, blah. And then the first thing that you'd actually set up for them is tracking. So you'd set up their analytics, you'd set up their call tracking, uh, their form tracking, all that good stuff, and you'd be able to see how many leads they have coming in per month. And so once you're at that point, you're basically at a point where you can start selling $2,000, $3,000 SEO services. And the reason why is because if you can see, let's say they're ranking on page two, if you see that they're ranking on page two and they're getting like 10 clients a month, all you really have to do um, is look at their leads, come up with an estimation based on how many leads they're getting. And somebody was actually talking to me, to me about this this morning. So uh, if you're getting a certain amount of traffic to a website, um, I forget what the question was that the guy asked me, but basically I think he was asking, you know, how do I know whether or not my SEO is working? And so here's the thing. If you're getting traffic off of Google <clears throat> and you're getting... <clears throat> and you're getting traffic off your Google business profile, all you have to do is set up your tracking for your leads and you need to see how many people, how many visits are coming into the website versus how many people are sending you a message or sending you a phone call. And you can see that when you set up the tracking. Now, when you set that up, uh, if, if you set that up for like, say this chiropractor and only 2% of the people who are going to the website are then going and calling, then you know there's something wrong with the website. And most of the time, these people don't have any of this set up, right? So they don't have the tracking set up. They don't have any like call to actions or buttons set up for people to get in contact with that business. You know, maybe there'll be one up at the top right of the website, but in the main part of the website, there usually isn't. And so literally just by setting up the tracking alone is going to show them the amount of leads that they're getting because most business owners have no idea how many leads they're getting. So you would you 
offer them that as a service, right? You would help them out with the first thing. You do an audit, then you'd probably say, okay, well, we want to set up the tracking first. That's 300 bucks. So that's usually how much I recommend setting up the tracking for, 300 to 500 bucks. And once you set up the tracking, you would go and um, offer to double their leads, right? So if they have 10 leads coming in, you say, I'm going to double it. If they have 20 leads coming in, I'm going to double it. Unless their website is like perfectly optimized, um, then that's the only time that I probably would recommend don't go and try to double their leads. But most of the websites are not going to be perfectly optimized. There's going to be all kinds of things wrong with the website. Um, and it doesn't take a rocket, sci rocket scientist to figure out what's wrong with a website, right? Uh, you can really just look at a website and go, hey, how is the person visiting this website viewing this website? So if I'm like going to the, a website and there's no button, I don't know what's going on, it doesn't really say what the website's about, maybe it does, maybe it just says like we offer clothes, you know, you want to say, okay, well, or we offer chiropractic work, you want it to say we offer chiropractic work in Santa Barbara or wherever the location is, Los Angeles. <clears throat> so all of that stuff is stuff we talk about on this channel. If you haven't um, followed along with any of the recent videos, I'd go check out the other ones because we talk a lot about how to identify issues with the website, that kind of thing. But again, you're using the, back to the video thing, you're using the rankings that you're going to get on Google very quickly in order to show the business owner that you're ranking so that you can start offering them services. So I hope that makes sense. And again, if you are interested in getting access to uh, this uh, new course, which is the video SERP hijacking, let me know and I will leave a link to that. Um, and that's pretty much it. So we'll see you in the next one. Until then, happy assailing. We'll see you guys. Bye.